So how to choose a camera? I am almost sure that if you are watching this video, you are going to buy your first, very first camera in your life. So how to do this right? I already have such an experience, so I'm gonna try to help you. But before we start, please hit the like button and subscribe to support me and what I'm doing here. I appreciate that. Decide what your budget for camera is. And this is probably the most important step. And please do not go over your budget. Because if you decide to invest all of your money into the camera, you will have no money left for buying lens and other gear that you will definitely need in the nearest future. Like tripod, different filters, backpack and so on. And this is not really smart. Which brand you should buy? Sony, Canon, Nikon, Fujifilm, what is better for you? And this is the question only you know the answer for. My advice, go to the local rental store and grab some cameras to test. And this is the safest way to choose the right brand. When I was young, <laughs> I borrowed some cameras from my friends for just a couple days, nothing special. Uh, and that was just enough time for me to realize that I'm not a Canon user. No. Do not be afraid to spend some money for rental because it will help you to save money in the future. Because you will be sure which brand is better for you. Are you going to record video with your camera? I'm asking this question because some kind of cameras are not able to record any kind of videos. Like um, Nikon D700 or D750, I'm not sure. And if you are not going to record videos, you can buy those cameras because those cameras are a bit cheaper. But personally, I do not recommend you to buy a camera which is not able to record video. Because at the time when I was buying mine camera, uh, the one which is filming right now, I was really sure that I'm not gonna film any kind of videos with my camera. But as far as you can see, I was really wrong. And if I bought a camera which is not able to record videos, um, I had to buy a new one. And this is not cool. Decide what you are going to do with the camera. I'm serious. This is the question you need to ask yourself before you buy the camera, not after. Because some cameras are better for shooting videos and some cameras are better for taking pictures. Moreover, some cameras are better for taking pictures of, uh, I don't know, sport events because they can take up to 10 pictures per second with the highest possible quality. But if you are not going to use this feature, you don't need to pay extra money for this feature. So yes, decide what you want to do with the camera. And the last step, number five. And this is basically my personal advice for future photographers. If you want to become a good photographer, who knows how to work with any kind of cameras, who wants to know how the light and colors work, buy the film camera as your first camera. I recommend some sort of Zenit or Minolta cameras. They are really cheap, you can find some cameras lower than 30 bucks with the lens already. And film camera gives you an opportunity, which you cannot deny, to figure out everything. You will have to make all the settings by yourself, because those cameras, they don't have any presets or automatic mode, no everything by yourself. And this is actually how I did as well. My first camera was Zenit. Here you can see my literally the first pictures that I took on that camera. And if you think that the pictures are way too good to be the first pictures and I'm lying about that, no. I was just really prepared for this. At that time I have read four books about photography and cameras. I have already known all the settings and stuff because I knew that this camera will not help me setting up the right settings. And this is why I think that the first camera for any photographer should be a film camera. That's it, I hope you liked this video and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them below this video. And have a great day!